Okay, so myths, concerns, um, AKA questions I'm tired of answering. The first one is, is it pee? I'm happy to use my body for our science and I will pee in one cup and squirt in another so that we can see the difference and I can end this once and for all. <laughs> It wasn't an easy task, but someone had to do it. Cheers. So first of all, I can say that they look a lot more different than I was expecting. Like, I think you can really tell that there's two different liquids in here. So when we ask the question of, is squirt pee? No, it's squirt. That's why we call it squirt and we don't call it pee. There are some elements within squirt that are also in P, like urea and creatinine, that doesn't mean that it's the same exact substance. Another concern people have is what about the mess? Squirting can be really messy, and that's a real big turnoff for some people. Or if you're worried about the cleanup of it, that might prevent you from having a good time and really doing all of your squirting and pleasure. Puppy pads or wee wee pads are not made for humans. They're made for dogs to clean up their pee, but we can use them for such. Same thing as chucks or medical pads. We can lay these down on the bed. We can put them in our bag. They're great for travel. Just throw them out when you're done. Is squirting an orgasm and what does it feel like? You can squirt without orgasming. You can orgasm without squirting, or you can do them both together. Squirting most of the time isn't an orgasm and it's a lot easier to achieve than doing so. It is my belief that everyone with a vulva is capable of squirting if they have a coordinated pelvic floor and a good relationship with their vulva. 